Hi everyone, welcome to today's video on political science. Today we are going to talk about two important terms that are power and authority. These words sound similar but they mean different things. By the end of this video, you will know what each one is and why it's important to understand them. Let's get started. The first session we will discuss about power. In second section, we will discuss about authority and in third section, we will discuss about the difference between power and authority. Firstly, we will talk about power. Power is the ability to control or influence others. It means you can make people do what you want, whether they like it or not. For example, a boss who tells their employees what to do or a government that makes law that everyone has to follow. There are different types of power which we are going to study. The first one is coercive power. Coercive power is when someone focus coercive power is when someone force others to obey by using threat or punishment. For example, a dictator who use police to control people has coercive power. The second one is reward power. This is when someone use reward to get people to do things. For example, a boss offering a bonus to employees for working hard is using reward power. The third point that we have is expert power. Expert power comes from having special knowledge or skills. For example, a doctor who advise people on how to stay healthy has expert advice or expert power because people trust their knowledge and their abilities. The fourth point that we have is referent power. Referent power is about popularity or personal influences. A celebrity or social media influencer has referent power because people admire them and want to be like them. And the last type that we have is legitimate power. Legitimate power basically comes from holding an official power or position. For example, a police officer has legitimate power to enforce laws because it's part of their job. Now moving onward to the second section that is authority. Authority is different from power. It's the right to give order or to make decisions that other has to accept. For example, a president has the authority to make decisions for the country because they were elected. Or a teacher has authority in the classroom. Basically, authority is the responsibility that is assigned that is assigned from any organization, company, or any institutions. Just like power, there are also some types of authority. These types show us whether they whether that that right to controls come from. The first type that we have is traditional authority. Traditional authority is based on customs or long-held beliefs. For example, a king who inherits the throne from his father has traditional authority. Means the authority that is transformed traditionally from father to son. The second type is charismatic authority. Charismatic authority comes from the person's, person's personality and ability to inspire others. For example, a leader like Mahatma Gandhi had charismatic authority because people followed him due to his powerful personality. The third point that we have is legal rational authority. Legal rational authority indi words indicate that it's based on the laws and rules. For example, a judge has legal rational authority because they make decisions according to the law. 
Now moving onward the session 3 that is the difference between power and authority. Yes, even thought they are related but they are not the same thing as we discussed above. No, the first one that we have is power is the ability to control other while authority is the right to do so. Power basically is the control while the ability is your, uh, while the authority is your right to do. For example, a school bully might have the power to make other kids do things by scaring them but principal has the authority to enforce the rules. School bully students scare the kids because they have power. But a principal has authority to enforce rules. Second, with power, people may follow but because they are forced to. But with authority, people follow because they believe the leader has the right to do, has the right to lead. Power can come from strength, fear or knowledge, but authority come from recognized position like being a president or a judge. Same like power can be uh, come from any, any home. Yeah, any person, uh, any person who has power, who has strength, who has power to make other fearful and knowledge, but authority comes from an organization and institutions, a strong belief institution. With power, people may obey because they have no choice, like in the dictatorship. But with authority, people follow willingly because they respect the role. Power can be temporary and might disappear quickly if the person loses control while authority lasts longer because it's based on rules and authority system. So, to sum up, power is about controlling other, while authority is the right to control. Both are important, but they work in a very different way. I hope this video helped you understanding this concept a little better. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.